Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and it is time for a Cloud Project Bootcamp. We're talking about two things. The repository template, which is now out and ready for you to copy, clone, whatever you want to call it, and also around teams and how you form a team, submit your team, team grading, things like that. So what we're going to do is first take a look at the template. So if we scroll on down below, we are going to find this GitHub repo. And here it is. This is the repo. I'm just going to click back here. I have a tab for it. And this contains the back end and the front end application. Um, but it also contains a folder called journaling. And this folder is just a bunch of markdown files where I'm expecting you to write your homework. So basically a summary of what you did during the week um, that should match up with the code or anything that you worked on within your code base. Uh, you can use external tools if you like, but it's going to be too hard for me to um, go through and mark things that are in Notion or other uh, things. So these are the links that you will be submitting because every week in the portal, they're not unlocked yet, but you'll go here and it'll be like, what homework did you do? And so the idea is that you can paste that link in there. Um, and that's how we are going to know and check your homework. Now, I want to point out that my expectation is that you are actively working in this repository generally around the time that we're doing the stuff. So if you're doing week four stuff, or sorry, week one stuff in week four, that's a sign that you might just be backfilling or dumping data. You're not actually doing the work. So the commit history is going to be very important for you to, uh, uh, or for us to, to make sure that you are not cheating. Uh, because there are folks, and I know you sounds crazy, but there are folks that will probably try to do this whole thing and then dump everything in to get the badge. So just be aware that we are paying attention to your commit history. Um, and so that is something that I want you to consider. Um, but anyway, this is the project and there's not much you can do with it right now because you'd have to know how to containerize the application. You can play around with it uh, uh, if you want, but what you can do is get started and using this template. And so this is something you have to do. If we go over to our individual project requirements in the outline, it says create a new repository from the template and you must make sure you match the name. Take that down to AWS there, it was uh, capitalizing by accident. You must make sure you match this name. So if I go here and I say create a new repository, make sure it has the same name, exact same name, because that's gonna make it very easy for us to grade it. If it's not named that, I can't find it, I can't grade it, we're not gonna hunt these down. Make sure you enter them correctly. It must also be public. If it's not public, it's not accessible to us, we cannot grade it. Um, we don't want to be added to hundreds and thousands of GitHub accounts to privately access them. So that it has to be public. So what we'll do is go back here. So that is something that you have to do. And uh, we'll talk about the team project requirements uh, here uh, actually next. So what we'll do is we'll go back over here. So I said that folks could work in teams because they really wanted to. And I said, all right, I'll let you work in teams. We'll have to define it as we go. And now uh, the definitions of team is a lot more concrete. So let's go through it and talk about what are the requirements? What do you have to do to submit your team, et cetera, et cetera. So if we make our way over to the Discord, there is a Teams channel and this is where people have been forming teams. If you go up here in the, in the chat, it's not in the FAQ yet, but in the chat, there are team rules. Teams must be between five and 50 members. You must have a team lead. You must list your team members. You need to have a team name. So once you have formed your team, to lock in your team, you're going to be using this team submission form. I have a jot form for it. I will have to send it out in Discord. Um, and these have to be submitted by the 11th on the on the day of the uh, the first thing, before the day of or before, okay? After the 11th, uh, if you haven't submitted, you do not have a valid team. You are not participating as a team. You cannot remove members from your team. You cannot add members to your team after you've submitted this form. Your team is locked in. If you have a bad team, you cannot drop down to individual level. You are stuck with your team. You've got to make sure that you choose a team that is reliable. You need to make sure that uh, you work through your team problems because that's your team. Um, and that is the rules there. I'm not going to accept any changes once they're submitted because I just can't. It's too much work. Um, and you know you have to really think about what you're doing with your teams. So. Teams do not earn these badges. Teams earn team badges. And if I go back over here, I'm still working on the design here, but you'll see, um, oop, we go down here, all the way down here. They're different. So the top one are individuals, blue squad, teal squad, gold squad, red squad. Down here we have crow class, beaver class, otter class, wolf class. They're in the works. The colors in the works, the names in the works, the design is in the works. So just wait till it is done. 
but those are the badges you are earning. Now let's talk about how you earn them because that is based on the grading rubric. So this is the individual grading rubric. You should have already seen it. Um, it this is the same, it's nothing has changed here. Now we have the team grading rubric. So the team grading rubric, the idea is that you still have to complete individual instructions in your own individual account. And the reason why is that even if you're working as a team, you still have to do the baseline stuff. You have to show up and you have to um, complete every part of it. The point of teams is that you're getting to group your effort for homework. The idea is to work collectively on a single repository separate from your individual one that you can then do the homework on, to extend on, to uh, uh, work through those problems. So like if you're stuck on your own individual repo, the team repo, if someone else solves it, then you can work through that. But the idea is that this baseline stuff, you have to do it. You have to do it no matter if your team or not in your own repo. Um, and so the idea is that in the student portal, when you go here, you will have to add your project repo. Everyone has to do that. That's gonna be the URL of the individual project repo and your GitHub name. And for team, you're gonna have your team repo. I'm saying that I strongly recommend, or if not required, to make a organization. So in, um, in here, you can go organizations and you can create yourself a new organization. They are free, they are public. You just go to the free one. And so you should be able to create a free organization, add all your team members, and your organization should be generally your team name. That's gonna make it a lot easier for me to see your activity. Uh, that team repository, I wanna see activity from all members in it. So whether you want to use branches or um, upstream your forks into it or whatever you wanna do, that's up to you. But the idea is that you are going, to, that's the, um, that's what we're gonna be marking against is that repository there for uh, that grading. So we'll go back over to here to team grading. So this still, everyone has to do it. These things up here, uh, you could do them, but they're not necessary in team because team, you have different goals. The idea is that it's about team homework collaboration. It's more of a focus on your homework and your homework is doing things like extending the application with features that weren't there before. Um, and the idea is that we are going to market based on how well your team works together. So if all your team members produce something very significant to the application um, and it's all evenly uh, like even effort for all your members, good, good distribution of effort, then that's a level four. If we're seeing only a couple people doing all the hard work, everyone else is doing the work, but there's people that are doing most of the work, then that's not a very balanced team because you should help your team members out to make sure that they can contribute as good as everybody else. Uh, if we see most contrib uh, most people contributing, but some people uh, aren't, that's, that's consideration there. And then there's the, the bottom barrel, which is like, you know, half your team's not doing it, but uh, there are some people doing it. Um, so just understand that. The other change is that instead of doing the individual cloud technical essay, you have a team cloud technical essay. And the idea up here is you focus on a technical topic related to your homework. This is about your team working together, working through problems. So it has to be team focused. And I only expect one article. Uh, I know these say the exact same thing, but the idea is that this is just the difference between quality. So you know, good article versus great article, right? So I wanna hear how your team members work together. So name your team members and what they did and how they worked through it and et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so there's that. Consider that if you're doing uh, stuff like this, like like team effort. Team effort's not just writing code, it's documentation, it's architectural diagrams. So try to get those into your repos and you know those folks that might not be as good as writing code or maybe they're not good as implementing services can do other things to balance out the team effort. So I know this is uh, not as detailed as the other one, but the idea is that I have to mark these ones all manually. These ones, there's a bit of automation involved, like it's semi-automated and then I have uh, TAs help me mark it. This one, I have to mark these all individually. So um, really I have to make a judgment call. I have to look at your team repo. And I, I will be looking at commits um, to see how well you're working together, how organized it is. So hopefully that clarifies um, that information for you. 
So yeah, you, uh, the, the repo is ready. Go ahead and clone it, get your teams ready, create that organization, GitHub, and get ready to fill out that submission form. And we will see you soon where there's four days left, four days left, five days left, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, four days left to the boot camp. I'll see you then this Saturday. Ciao.